Hey guys, Gravender here, and welcome back to another episode of Marvel Contest of Champions. And in this episode, we're going to be ranking up Old Man Logan from rank 3, level 30 of 30, to rank 4, level 40 of 40. That's right, we got enough tier 4 basic catalysts to take him up to the next rank. I'm actually pretty happy about that. It was a really big debate. Now, I know a lot of people keep posting on here telling me, you know, rank up this champion, rank up that champion. I, I have a method to my madness. There's, I don't want uneven teams of certain champions. Like, I don't want so many tech champions and so many signs. I want to take one of each up each time I do it. So, if you noticed from the first time that I did the first round, I took one of each class. Now, I'm on to taking up one of each class on this round. That way, I have teams that I can use in the arena that aren't the same classes i don't i don't like taking in one or, or two of the same same class into a match arena i like the possibility of being able to match them up with the other champions that i'm going up against in a better way i feel like i, I get better matches like that if they're not paired with other people that are the same class but you know it's over there, so yeah, you know, obviously our next one's gonna be Ultron. From this point on, it's it's unless I get new champions that I really like out of the arena, it's it's taking up the the highest rated ones. That way, that our alliance quest um, prestige goes up. So I'll be taking up the highest rated champions, which will be Ultron, Black Widow, and Iron Fist will be the next three. Unless something, like I said, unless something else better comes along in that time frame. Right now, Old Man Logan, we're sitting at a 2600 power index, 7,770 on health, 625 on attack. Pop the Claws is unlocked to level 20. He has Pacifism 5, Regeneration 4, and Bleed 5. Now, his regeneration is not like Wolverine's. His regeneration is a set amount. Each time Old Logan loses 10% of his max health or the opponent's is Berserk. Berserk's awesome, too. Berserk is absolutely awesome. That's a passive ability that doesn't pop up down in the little bottom column of the abilities because it is passive, but... Each time Logan loses 10% of his max health or the opponent uses a special attack against him, he gains a charge of pacifism and has a 10% chance per charge to snap and go berserk. When Logan goes berserk for each pacifism charge he had, he gains one fury and cruelty effect, increasing attack and critical damage by 17% per charge consumed. It's pretty awesome whenever it hits and you've got like five or six of them. I'm not going to lie. It's happened a few times. It happens a lot more than you would think, just at a 10% chance. I absolutely love it. He's actually a really awesome champion, even against champions that don't bleed. He does really well against Colossus. I've seen in some fights. Here at Logan's passive. Logan's advanced age has altered his healing factor, allowing him to recover 7 health twice per second. Now, with our masteries right now, he is actually recovering 10, which isn't a lot, but it will help if you need it especially at you know 10 per two seconds or per sec 10 twice per second getting a little bit tongue twisted on this stuff so you're essentially getting 20 health per second that helps out a lot especially if a fight lasts a long time additionally anytime he bleeds his healing factor closes the wound 67 percent faster so anytime he does bleed he closes it faster that's less damage he has to take now this is where we get into like one up against the champions like Colossus. Special attack one. This attack pierces 86% of the target's armor. He's not going to bleed, but you're going to attack 80%. 86% of the target's armor, which basically that's all Colossus is, is, is armor. So, helps out big time there. Special attack two, 30% chance to inflict bleed, dealing 147 of your 147% of your attack as direct damage over six seconds. Special attack three. 100% chance to inflict bleed, dealing 92% of your attack as direct damage over six seconds. 
Using this attack causes Logan to snap and go berserk at the cost of one pacifism charge. Now, I've never had him in a fight where I've had to use him and get to level 3 special attack. But if I went up against a champion that had a lot of health, it'd probably help. Because he's snapping. If you got a lot of berserk stacked as well, then you're going to instantly make it go off. But it is what it is. Usually I don't have to use level 3 attacks in Arena, but I'm sure it'd come in handy anywhere else. Uh, he does have a 6% armor buff synergy with Hawkeye, 7% crit with Wolverine, and a 6% attack with Hulk. And the team that I am currently running with him is Hawkeye and Hulk. Now obviously that's going to change because they're not rank 4s, and I try to lump my rank 4s into the same group. So... That team's going to be gone until I decide to take Hawkeye and Hulk up, which, never know. You never know. My next science champion is at least three away, so, obviously they're not going to be next on the bucket list for going up, so let's go ahead and rank him up. As you can see, we got everything we need here, and it frees up space for a tier one alpha that is getting ready to expire so I need to pull that out I did take the time to actually pull out as much mute nice as I possibly can but this shouldn't take very long at all I want to see where he falls at on the list with all the other champions that I have as well. And he is at the bottom. He is even lower than Doctor Strange, which now Doctor Strange has actually been bumped up. Because I don't ever remember him being... He was always at the bottom, but I don't ever remember him being as close in like power index wise as like Star Lord. He, If I remember correctly, he was actually below my Black Panther. At one point, but yeah, he is the bottom of the of the barrel. I don't really think there are any mutants that I have. Storm, Storm would most likely be up close to the top, but I don't really think she would be a top champion. She if, once we take Ultron, Iron Fist, Black Widow up, I'd say that's pretty much going to lock in our top five because it'll be. Ultron, Iron Fist, Black Widow, Spear, Iron Man, and, and Colossus will be my top five. If I take those three up, yep, it's set. No one's ever going to be higher than him unless I can awaken my Electro or find two Rocket Raccoons as far as what I have. Um, from what I've seen at least. so, And from what I've got. That's the way it's going to be. But let's go ahead and take a look at Old Man Logan's info. So after the rank up, we go from 2600 on the power index to 3416. We go from 7777 on the health to 9979. His attack was 6. 25 looks like I'm trying to look at the old picture I'm not really positive it's kind of dark but it has gone up to 803 uh, his, his regeneration went up to 5 pacifism and bleed both stayed at 5 so the only thing we had go up was regeneration so let's see regeneration is at now So we're at eight. So I'm not sure exactly what it's going to calculate, what's going to translate to inside of using him in a fight. So I'd say it's only going to go up by like two. So we're at ten four, so it'll be twelve. Now. Or at least it should be. But there you have it, guys. That's Old Man Logan at rank four, level forty of forty, and.
Remember to like, share, comment, subscribe, and we'll catch you in the next episode. Later, guys.